Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to a new video and welcome to House Flipper. Today we're playing a game completely, completely out of the old the old remit of what you would expect on the channel. But I asked you guys, you seem a little bit interested. Basically, I've been playing this game a lot recently. I had it I've had it ages, so long. Never actually played it. So if you haven't seen the game before, essentially you buy houses pretty much like this one. This one's a pretty small one. This is your starter house. You do them up, you decorate them, buy stuff and stuff, and you sell them on. So let's jump right into it. Let's find a house to buy and do up. So we've got $132,000 to play with right now. Um, that gives us, if whatever we buy, we've got pretty much the rest. We could buy the Huckster's house, 94000 That would give us 38 ish thousand to play with in terms of renovating it. Fuck it, let's do it. You bought a new house. Yeah, let's go there right now. Oh god, it doesn't look so good. Okay, we're gonna jump into this one. Oh my god, this is the Breaking Bad house. You know what? I'd seen some things about this. This is the house from Breaking Bad. There's the pizza look. Oh my god, stunning! Um, so we're gonna have to clear this whole bad boy up. So basically, yeah, the houses you get, when you buy them, right, they're just full of pretty much crap from other, the, the past owner etc. You've got to clean them up first, then you've got to do up the whole thing. That's pretty much the remit of the game. It's basically Sims, but I'm going to leave the pizza up there because, you know, reasons and stuff. We're going to have to clean it as well, so we're going to have to clean this uh, this graffiti off. That's not too big of an issue. Let's get rid of those. Cool, weird thing. Let's head on inside. I'm going to have to clear all of this. Sell the door, why not? Get some extra cash. Yeah, so basically, I'm not going to sell the fireplace because you can't actually buy those. You gotta clean the house and just do the whole thing. Hamburg, Heisenberg, love it, love it. Uh, what do we got? We got a big ass, what looks to be living room, dining room area, big kitchen. I like it. I like it a lot. We'll sell all of this stuff because it all looks a little bit tatted. We can replace all of that. These windows, man. Wow. Um, sell these two. God, this house is not in good condition. This is, by the way. Okay, so obviously. This isn't, I haven't just started the game from scratch, I uh, I have, I think I've owned two or three, maybe four houses now, so I had enough to buy this rather, I would guess, sizable house? Wow. Um, yeah, so I had enough money to buy it, I went through like, the t you have like tutorial stages, etc, that sort of thing, learning the game, so I went through all that before I started recording, because I wanted to learn it, and you guys get a little bit bored of that, especially if you're into house flipper episodes, maybe you've seen that before, can I sell that? Yes I can, cool. I wonder if I can put a doorway here. Yeah, so let's get to cleaning. I, best, I guess that's the big thing right now. This house is absolutely filthy. When Heisenberg obviously moved out, the uh, the youths the youths moved in, if you will. So I'm just going to head around and clear this up. I don't want to edit this too much because obviously I'm not doing... I think what I might do in the future is a like a speed, a speed cleanup, if you guys are interested in one of those. But... Today we're going to take this slow, this is the, like I say, the biggest uh, house I've bought so far, so this is the biggest rebuild I've had, let's get, oh I don't really want to get rid of it, but I've got to, um, this is the biggest house I've ever changed, so I, I kind of have to make sure that I do it right, and I want to make it good, basically what you do, you do the houses up, you, you add your bits and pieces, and you sell them, and you try and sell them for the biggest profit possible, so if we do this, I think, to be honest, if we can uh, keep this in budget, Sell this house for a tasty, tasty little profit. We might be able to even move on to maybe even a two-story. I've never bought a two-story house before, so it's going to be something new. Plus, oh god, this this is a big space, you know? I've never had a space this big, right. Yeah, so if you guys haven't seen House Flipper before, and if you don't want to stick around for this video, completely understand. This isn't something that's usual to my channel. It's not the sort of game that is, to be honest. I've had this game so long. God, I didn't even see this room in here. Never played it, but I jumped into it the other night when I was uh, when I was uh, I was just like, you know what, fuck it, let's let's try something a bit new. And you know, I, I'm having so much fun. Like I used to get lost in Sims, right, years and years ago. But when back in my my early teen years, so that, so all of this, what the, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, it's the hole that he hid his money in. Legendary. Oh my god. So each one of these piles looks like five hundred and fifty dollars. Oh my god, right, so this house is already making us absolute bank right now. That is a good little easter egg, that. Well done, developers, alright. Um, got some meth pikes to sell. Big garage, oh my god, or garage, however you want to say it. This house is massive, right. So we've got to get a big clean up on, and then we can, I suppose, start getting 
getting built. God, I am going to have so much work to cut out for me here. Right, I'm just going to go through, just get it all cleaned up for you guys, and then we will meet back when I am going to try, I guess, and give you my plan of action. I really don't know. Yeah, like I say, do leave a like on the video, guys, if you are a House Flipper fan, if you haven't seen this game before, if you're interested in this game, or just if, just... If you just for the banter, you know what, you know what, just just leave a like for the banter. But yeah, I'll clean this up and I'll be back with you shortly. All right, I've just been around, I've cleaned, I've thrown a couple of radiators on here, there, and everywhere, wherever they they wanted to go. You can add them anywhere, but I'll just throw them where they wanted to go. Looks like we've got the little bear in the pool, which I love. Okay, I think it's really hard to choose where to start. It looks as though we've got kitchen, dining room, living room, a little bedroom, um, garage, garage. One bathroom, master bedroom, with access to pool, hold and switch to clean. I don't really know what I'm what I'm cleaning. Um, what am I, what am I cleaning here, boys? Yeah, yeah fudge it. It's yeah, we'll we'll call it clean with an ensuite. Okay, I like that. And then this little room here, which I guess is kind of pointless. I I don't really know what to do with that, to be honest. I I might even. I might knock that wall through. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock this wall through um, and build, block this up here. That could work, maybe. Uh, I'm going to knock this through and then maybe build a little office space coming off of the master bedroom. That could be a thing. Obviously, Heisenberg's got to get his, got to do his deal somehow, right? Um, it might work. To be honest, it probably won't. But who cares? You know, you only live once and. When you tackle these big houses, what you got to do, right? So let's just knock through this. And I must say, you won't find a more satisfying feeling than when that mallet hits that wall and it all comes tumbling down. I mean, wait for it. Wait till the gibbs catch up. Come on. Look at that. Oh, satisfying as you like. Right. We'll get through here. We'll keep this going. We'll get a little, get a little, get a little, little study going. Uh, yeah, I plastered that up as well. Um... Yeah, we'll get rid of that light. Why not? Um, we'll just knock that out. Right, so I'm probably going to start. I like that. I prefer that being covered up. I don't really like this weird corridor, but that's kind of what you got to live with. Unless I want to change the whole thing out, and I can't really be asked with that. So I'm going to start with the kitchen. Um, you can buy a washer to mount here. Do I want? Do we want a washer? Uh, I don't hate it. I must say, I don't hate it. Um, I do like it in the white. Yeah, okay, the tiles will work, I guess. Right, let's just clean those windows up. Right, the kitchen's going to be the next big thing. If you guys are into this game, um, and you've perhaps renovated this house yourself, please do let me know how you did it, because, to be honest, I, I, I always feel like I, I, I do a good job, and then I actually, like, look back on it, and I'm like, fuck, I hate that. Um, okay, I, I, I completely understand. Your skepticism team. The f the sink is gonna go right there, and then in this little little wedge is we're gonna have one of those boys, and it's gonna be black because I don't know if I can change that. Can I can I change that? Is that a is that a, is that a little little no? It's all white and the oh actually hold on the tabletop can be no oh, actually works a freaking treat right okay home electrical appliances uh, we're gonna want the four banner gas stove 100 percent right now um your boy can't be a youtuber without a coffee maker that's that's pretty much the golden rule right uh we need a microwave oven yeah 100 percent why not fuck them everybody needs a microwave move the coffee maker to just straight up next to the old michael my wave right i'm just gonna what have i done what have i done there Knock that out. I'll be back with you in a moment after I just glitterify this place. Alright, to be honest, you know what? I don't... I actually really like this kitchen. Um, if these lights will come on, yep. Yeah. I actually really like this. This actually looks really swish and nice. Okay, got a little fern over here. Gotta have a fern. Gotta have a fern. I like the granite tabletop on that. Got a little chopping board. Not much more you can really put into this, to be honest. Actually, that could go maybe a little bit over there more. Um, and that can go there. It's pretty pretty alright. I like that. Uh, we can have a little clock up there. I guess that's the, the done thing. And we've still got so much money to play with, which I love. Do I wanna do I wanna put a put a blind on that? The question is where what do we move on to next? That's the next thing. Bedrooms, lounge. 
bathrooms. We'll throw a double door in here just for the banter. Make it white plastic. I don't know what that means. Um, obviously, it's made of white plastic. I know that. Oh, you can't see through it. Yeah, you, you need that in your bedroom. You don't want people seeing through your, your stuff all the time while you're, you're getting ready for stuff, while to go out in the pool. To be honest, the green doesn't look horrendous. The brick doesn't look horrendous. Oh, it's... You can't knock down these outer walls just in case you were wondering. That could come in at a later update. That would be great. Can you knock this wall down? Yes, you can. Okay, that is... That'll do, I guess. We'll knock that out. Hi, my name's Elliot, and I make bad decisions and paint houses green for some reason. But I went with... <laughs> I've gone with the beige carpet. Um, it's going to pretty much run it into the bedroom. Um, and I've gone with the green for some unknown godly reason, but uh, I always paint the houses white, so I thought, fudge it, let's go for something a bit different. So we kind of got to lay this out right now. Um, okay, let's 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 look at this in terms of sofas right now. Okay, we're gonna need big sofas. Um, sofa L, navy. We could. How does the navy look? Oh, it just looks fucking horrendous with the green, doesn't it? Now this is a this is a bold claim right now. What if I was to separate this room out a little bit? By throwing a wall in, just there, so you'd sort of have like a separation between the two. This wall isn't going to go the whole way, it's only going to sort of go halfway across, just enough that maybe we can put the TV on here, and just enough to separate the room out. And to be honest, I might even leave it, this brick? Oh, I like it! You know what? That actually works a freaking treat. Okay, so if we pull that forward to about there... Have we got anything else that would... Are you, do you come in grassy? Oh my god, you do. <laughs> yes, okay. Um, Alright, we need to we need to sort of think about this. So I can squeeze around the back of that. You're going to need to come over a little bit more over this side, just so they line up nice. Um, you're going to need to come way back over here somewhere. Although that maybe that's actually too far back now. No, I, I quite like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Right, okay. Let's get a TV on here just so I can see what this looks like because this is my vision um, and I have absolutely no idea whether this is going to be good or not. Right, let's get that straight. Not hating it right now. Let's get a little table under there. Uh, we can't really have a red book. Seven dollars. Go for it. Done. You know what? I don't actually hate that. I don't hate that at all. Um, that's pretty central, actually. I like it, guys, you know? I do. I'm going to tidy this around here, and I'll be back with you in a minute. I'm just going to sort around here a little bit. I don't know whether I want to keep that as is. It, uh, it's quite a nice feature piece, actually. Yeah, I'll be back with you in a second. Give me give me a minute. Right, so we've got the TV. we got a little, little one of them. Nice sitting area. And we are pretty damn happy. You can open these windows, I think. Or apparently not. That's fun. Um, yeah, I, I, this is a TV stand, but it fits really nice. So I thought, fuck it. We've got a little little bit of that. And we've gone for green. I hate the colour green, but if I not... I have painted. I haven't actually painted that. Am I Am I an idiot? Is this the colour I even had? I haven't got a fuggity clue right now. Yeah, we'll say so. Why not? Okay. Um, right, we need to get on with the dining room then. This is... This is the next task, yeah. This this game now has this weird lighting system where you walk in and out of the rooms and it just turns off and stuff. It's it's kind of weird, right? We'll do this one together, or attempt to anyway. So we're going to need a table. And I like to say, I don't want to bore you guys, but at the same time, I have no idea how to edit a game like this. Um, black, white, I guess white, right? You don't want it... I mean, that is just all kinds of white, right? Um, how's that in terms of... I don't know whether I want to line it up with the wall or with the door. I think I want to line it up with the... Well, I've lined it up with neither, so I guess that's fun, right? Um, I guess we want to line it up with the door. Let's go around right about there. I'm... Uh, I hate it. I hate it. Let's go across a couple. Right, we're going to get some chairs. Enough chairs. I don't know... Right, so you, you can basically open your iPad and click buyers, right? And go down here and choose the buyer that you, th that you want to sell to. So they give you good things that people want bad things that they don't want, sort of thing. I never look at them. I just, honestly, it just, it, I can't build it. So I, I prefer to just build the houses. Someone always buys them anyway. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck it. Right, let's get, um, I don't want to spend loans on chairs. $55 on chairs isn't bad. Yeah, nice, okay. Really simple, nice, 
easy little room. Right, what I'm gonna put here, I've already got it in my mind, I want a bookcase. Do you think this room needs a TV? I don't. Am I gonna put one in here, obviously? Yes I am, because freaking I love TVs and TVs and stuff, so... No, upside down, that way. The mirror can go there. See, the problem I, don't, I have is there are, the pictures and paintings aren't... It, it, they don't... Oh, oh, yes. That's the one. Get that nice, juicy peach. Right. Now we're into the bedrooms. The garage... Oh, I, I think I'm probably just going to spam the garage right now. Let's get some floor tiles and stuff and just get on with this. I mean, I, I don't want to bore you guys with this too much, so I'm just going to get this sorted. All right. Garage, garage, done. Looks as though that needs a bit of a clean. I've thrown some guns in because, you know, this America and all that. Got a spade and some shells and some stuff and some things. This opens, which is pretty dope. I mean, that's cool. And all that. What are they saying on the left hand side? Just remove a little more dirt and this house will be perfectly clean. Well, to be honest, um, whoever you are, I can't see any dirt. Plus, I threw this vent in because, you know, vents and stuff. That's fun. Right, we're looking good. The house is. I'm liking the yellow. I'm not going to lie to you. I like the yellow. The whole house looks nice. Okay. Looking good. Close that, that that bad boy. Right. We have bedroom one, bedroom two with ensuite. Plus, I want to throw a little, little study in here. I don't know what color I'm going to do this yet. Should we get the, the, old, the old flatty? The old flat flat. The old flat flat chum dog. Let's throw that down. Get the old toilet in, we'll, we'll build the um, shower, get a, sh a sink in, you got to have a shink, right? Go for it, why not? Fiery orange, probably too orange, but who cares, you know? Wow, that is just, wow that's horrendous, that burns my eyes like the colour of the sun. Let's, let's do the whole thing, we've bought this bloody paint, a can of paint now. That's, what, what, are, you, what are you saying? Indigo, are you, are you Gucci? You are just, oh my god that's blue. That is just no fun for anyone involved, is it? I know I can get like half colours like that look. If you just half colour it. I, I, don't, I mean, that's not bad. It makes like a nice purple, but... Yeah, that is flipping blue, you know? Oh my goodness. I don't actually dislike this right now. I think that's actually going to be a treat. We'll put a little desk on there. Perfect. Oh my good god. Love it. How's that look when we come into this room? Then what are we putting in this corner? That is the next question. I know what you're thinking. Are we going to put a bookcase there? You are right we are. Boom. Kids love bitches love books. Alright guys, bathroom completed. Um, got all that in, throwing a mirror down. Gone for the wood floor. Not really a, a, a usual thing. Just throwing that on because just to fill the space really. And I've gone for this lamp, but whatever. It's minimalistic, but I like it. Um, we're going to have to go through and like fill this with pictures and stuff, but I don't, you know what? I don't hate the house right now. To be honest, I'm, I'm really, I'm actually quite liking it. So we've got this, the kids' bedroom, loving it. We've got the garage, loving it. We've got this bathroom, now we're on to the master. Right, so, okay, go with the laminate floor, and we've got this, uh, like, beigey stuff, I don't know what I'm going to do in there yet, so let's go and grab ourselves a nice desk for in here. What is the nice desk we can get? Steel? Um, is that going to fit in here? I've got this in my actual office, my actual house. Um, no. Okay. Perfect. Never done one in a blue fucking thing before. Done. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. He's a big ass picture here. To be honest, I could probably, uh, customize his thingamajig? Maybe? I have no idea how to do this. I've seen so many people do this before. Like, when you've- oh, he also- he obviously needs the- needs the butt picture, right? Done. Boom. Maybe he needs something there, I don't know. But I don't hate that. Ah. Uh, Oh wow, okay. I don't really know whether people like having room either side of their bed. I mean, me and my girlfriend do. I can get round that. I don't hate that. There's just no room. With the fucking radiator in here, there is literally no room for like a wardrobe and stuff. But I guess that's the that's the problem with having... You know what? I'm gonna just... Ah, I don't know whether I like that. I've just gone ahead and sold the bed for no reason whatsoever other than I got it wrong. Um, I'm going to put that right slap bang in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a cabinet. I know it's not like, you're not like necessary that you need it. Make it steel. Yeah, why not? 
I'm going to grab one of them. Done. Can I squeeze around there? Of course I can, because I am a god. Just in case, you know, for those hot days, those hot boys. Done. Do I want... Yeah, this room's not going to have a TV, right? TVs are overrated for master bedrooms. That's the case. We're going to have one of them. Okay, and um, there's nothing you can do to stop us. That is the case right now. All right, dudes, I think we're pretty much there. Let me give you a little bit of a tour of this beauty. So we have the outside. We're leaving the pizza because that is just a centerpiece of this whole build. Uh, I, I should probably sell you this as if I was a real estate agent, right? So here we are. We have a lovely, lovely building for the estate. As you will see, all of these buildings in the local area, apart from that one, which is a mild green, this one stands out. It is beautiful. As you head on past these beautifully rendered, incredible bushes as you head inside, as you can see here into this bedroom because there's no blinds, as maybe we'll change that in a minute, who knows, into a very open and spacious and luxurious and bright living room area. So here we are, a long cabinet, we got the blind, we got the windows, we got plenty of light, the lights are all on in this house all the time, beautiful fireplace area and a beautiful sit down zone for you to sit with your family, friends, discuss everything over a good red book. Everything's great, got a little, got a little table there and to, to be honest, you know what you can never have too many of? That's right, ferns. That's, that's the right answer, but ferns can't go on this table for some reason, we'll, we'll never know why. So over here we're going to put a fern, there we go, all great. So it's green, I know a lot of people, maybe not to a lot of people taste, but we got a uh, brick wall over there and a brick wall here which is just great. So we've got a TV, so you can sit and watch telly, you head into here, we've got a bin, some bookshelves, no books on the shelves you're thinking, that is just all kinds of wrong. So here's what we're going to do, we're going to buy you some books, there's one, that's all you get, perfect. Beautiful door, sliding door out into the outside world, which is just beautiful. Lovely little dining room. You're thinking, there should be a picture on there. And you know what? You're goddamn right there is. And there it is. And you're thinking, also, wow, that, that is just not painted, and this person is really, really not on the ball. And you know what? They completely understand that. So here it is. They're just going to straight up paint them for you right now. So there we go. Done. Boom. Sold the paint cans out of the way. So beige floor and then you step into the most incredible kitchen you've ever stepped into look at this beauty black granite tabletops melding into some steel melting into a beautiful double fridge the lights are incredible we've got a smoke alarm in here microwave coffee maker all of the commodities the mod cons that anyone could expect and the lovely open feel to this house is one of the most major selling points so into here we head this is the child's bedroom bedroom number one as you head in here you're thinking wow doesn't look there's a light like there's a light switch and you would be completely correct so here we go there it is it won't let me place it there we go and all of a sudden the lights come on the room is illuminated and you're thinking wow my kid probably should have some blinds and I would agree. So here we go. Some closed blinds going in. I'm just going to sort these out. Don't even worry about it. You just sit back and enjoy the beautiful blue scenery to this building. And that is the best thing. The best thing about this house is is the crazy wacky color scheme. Because you're thinking, wow, that is so out there. Everyone's going to be the envy of me when I show them this house. And that is damn right. So there's some closed blinds. Beautiful area lovely little desk space and that is just all beautiful all kinds of sweet and incredible the carpet continues into the garage we've got your guns in case you come under some sort of severe arsenal attack who knows shovel some some water we'll say um there's some some stew perhaps tomato sauce and some boxes and some toilet roll because that's what you need all with incredible incredible usage and in here becomes the main use bathroom which is just nice and Simple, simple. You got some shelves, a lovely toilet, shower, sink, and some towel rail. All incredible. And as we head into the master bedroom, you first come across the beautiful area that you have to do all of the work that you need to do. Create your spreadsheets, whatever you need. A beautiful picture of a butt. And then we have the the whatever that one of those is wardrobe, closed blinds, beautiful clouded, misted into the outside world. What is one of them? I don't know, I feel I should clear it up. Can I clear it up? I can't clear it up. You're thinking, wow, what is that? I would suggest I have no idea, it's just a game glitch. So, here we are, we've got a beautiful thing in the pool, you're welcome. And as you step into the ensuite, beautiful placid colours, as you've got a mirror, shelves, a 
beautiful picture of wherever that is. A bath in here as well, so that you can have all of that leisurely time with your wonderful lady. We've got yourself a mirror and plenty. Again, a story space. And you're thinking, well, that isn't, that is just straight up isn't painted. And I would suggest you correct, my friend. It isn't. So what I'm going to do for you right now, just off the cuff, you don't even have to pay for it. I'm going to paint it for you. And there you go. It's all, all kinds of great. So there we go. Right. Let's see what we get for this beautiful... I'm actually really sad... Oh, for the love of... I swear I do that every time. I'm actually really sad to sell this house, you know? Like, I, I've actually fallen in love with this this build. Um, let's get that back in the middle. Right, I've actually fallen in love with this build, and I am going to miss this house. I could make this my office, but I am going to miss it. Right, click the Enter key. Let's start the auction and see what sales come in. Right, Giorgio, Gorgio, Shaunoa. 150k, 147k. We bought this house for $94,000. We are currently making an incredible profit. Oh my god, I like the fact there are some TVs in the living room. I don't like the stuff from the Great Depression. Sorry, Jimmy. I'm confused. I think a kitchenette in the living room would definitely be a good idea. What do you think we have, Jack? Big amount of pictures and like it. Wanted one bedroom, not two. Veronica, go sling your rook. No typical children's rooms. Did you not see that? No adult is sleeping in a dub in a fucking bunk bed, kid. High class a TV in the bedroom. Love it. A family room is what we need. The house is nearly clean. I prefer though for it to be completely cleaned. I wouldn't suggest. Oh, that's the pizza on the roof. Okay. At the minute, we've made ninety nine thousand dollars of profit. Oh my goodness. Shall we negotiate? Um, I want to get a hundred thousand. Right, you and McGregor's. Okay, they seem to be in. They seem to like it, right? Should we see if we can get eleven? Should we see if we can finesse them out of like eleven k more? I mean, if they say no, oh my god, they've gone for it. Hundred. That make it as a hundred and ten k. Hundred and ten thousand profit. Accept that offer, my dudes. Right, we currently have... Oh my god, I got my first achievement for this game. That's sick, okay. Right, guys, that leaves us with $238,000 of profit. Oh, no, I just, I'm just... I'm genuinely not clicking this. I'm, I'm not clicking E on this stuff. There we go. Right, so when it comes to what we want to buy next time, guys, it's completely up to you. Please do, if you have sat through this video all the way through to the end, we can buy everything bar... The just married house. We could go for the family house. We could go for the un unwasted un unwas unwasted house. The pink kingdom. The uncle's bunker. Whatever. And I, th I think I'm thinking the uncle's bunker. But please, please do let me know down below. To be honest, any bar house we buy, we could even keep for ourselves. Please do let me know in the comments which one you think we should buy next. And as always, guys, please do leave a like on the video. Uploading something different that isn't my usual sort of content. Mad props to anybody that's watched it. Mad props to all of you guys that enjoy House Flipper because, to be honest, it's an incredible game to play. So thank you very much for watching. I'm currently on holiday right now, so I hope you are enjoying it. I am still reading your comments, currently in Greece, so reading your comments from across the globe. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe as always. I will see you in the next one. My name has been Tills. You've been whoever you incredible people are. Peace out.